determining amount of other reactant needed given the amount of one reactant. In this problem it says given the following equation 8Fe plus S8 yields 8FES. So what mass of iron is needed to react with 16 grams of sulfur? So in this problem we have sulfur, there's 16.0 grams of it and we have to do a mass to mass stoichiometry problem to get how much iron we need to react we need that to react with so to react with all of that what we're going to do is do 16 grams and di of sulfur divided by its molar mass to get the number of moles because what we're going to do is go from the mass of S8 to the moles of S8 use the mole ratio to get the moles of Fe. Then we're going to use the moles of Fe to get the mass of Fe in grams. So we have the mass of S of sulfur here and then we're going to divide it by its molar mass which is 256.5 grams per mole and that's going to give us 0. 0.0624 moles for S8. And then we're going to use the mole ratio, which we see is 8 to 1. So every time we have one of these, we actually have 8 more times the iron. So we need 8 more times the iron. So I'm going to multiply this by 8 because it's an 8 to 1 ratio. So I'm going to multiply that number by 8, and what I get is... 0 0.499 moles of Fe. So I use the mole ratio here to do to get this. And then I use the molar mass and I multiply it by the molar mass of iron and by the moles of iron I have to get the mass. So 0 0.499 moles of Fe times 87 point nine two moles of grams per mole of Fe is going to get me forty three point nine grams of Fe. So for this problem I need forty three point nine grams of iron to react completely with sixteen point zero grams of of sulfur so that I can get, so I can actually make this reaction happen.